Hey everyone, Neil with Love Your Shave, and I uh, want to do another um, shave video today. I got some uh, new old school aftershave uh, in the mail. I uh, been wanting to try some of this for a while. My dad, uh, you know, passed away two years ago, and he used to use Skin Bracer by Menon, and uh, I really love the scent. And uh, today, when I got it in the mail, I took another whiff of it, and uh, it just reminded me of you know when my dad used to sit in front of the uh, uh, bathroom mirror and shave and then he'd splash it on himself before he go to work. Now my dad was the uh, of the era where he bridged himself off of the old school shaving like we do and he started using the plastic throwaway Gillette garbage uh, and I'm not going to say Gillette's a garbage company but just the garbage that they've been pumping out in the form of plastic cartridge razors. So um, but uh, yeah he never really passed that on to me and my brothers uh, you know, of course, he did show us how to shave, but not, you know, with old school stuff like, for instance, I picked up this Gillette TV special. Uh, and, you know, this is a special edition uh, Gillette Twist to Open Razor. So we're going to shave with it tonight. And uh, also a Gillette 7 o'clock um, blade as well. So, and I'm going to use Parasso um, Green, which I love the soap. It's got a nice, nice um, feel to it. Uh, feels really good on your face when you shave with it. And then I'm going to use my uh, EverReady 500 PBT uh, with a synthetic knot that I put in it. So, And I like this synthetic knot because it has some backbone to it. Um, you know, if, if I had my druthers, if I was going to do it over again, I probably would have put a um, a uh, badger, a silver tip badger in here. Because I say silver tip badger is better for people that have, um, you know, sensitive skin. So, uh, but anyhow, these do really, really good. And, uh, you know, we're going to get this shave on with it today. So... And I've been watching different people like Ken Surfs and uh, uh, Kitty Shaves and some of the other ones out there that do DE razor shaves. And uh, they use um, pre-shave uh, soap or oils. And I'm thinking about trying that too because I've never done it. I use the, um, this uh, Nivea as a pre-shave. And... Uh, it seems to do okay, but I mean, it's definitely not a pre-shave oil or anything, but um, I mean, for the most part, it does, I guess, soften my face. Puts a nice cushion on the whiskers before I apply my after, or excuse me, before I apply my uh, shave soap. And I've been looking around too, uh, trying to find some products to try and test. Especially for someone like myself that has uh, sensitive skin. And there's a lot of stuff out there, believe it or not, that um, unless you look for it, you're not going to find it. I mean, you're going you're gonna to find your mainline stuff that everybody, uh, everybody uses. Like the Thayer's that I picked up um, is really good. It's the medicated version. And I know a lot of guys use it, but this medicated version feels really good on your face after a shave. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and lather and get this shave started. And... Uh, been doing really good. I, I, I uh, picked up a bunch of uh, uh, blades from tryablade.com and uh, I've been getting some really, really good results with some blades that I never used before. And uh, it's a little wet there. And uh, my shaves have been, oops, excuse me, my shaves have been a lot better. Uh, since I started uh, trying different blades. I gave myself a haircut today. I like to keep my hair a little short. Sometimes it grows out a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this Gillette. Uh, Seven o'clock. Razor. And a Gillette TV special. 
date code D4. So it's fourth quarter of, uh, I believe it would be uh, 19, oh, excuse me, second quarter, D2. Just got this in the mail too. I was surprised somebody didn't pick it up. Now I know the British version, they're worth a lot more because they're very rare, but this is the American version. I'll let you see. See how the gnarling's a little different on the handle? And I'll show you one that I have. Here's a, here's a regular super speed. And you notice the difference in the two. I mean, this one doesn't have the cross lines like this one. This one has the cross lines, this one doesn't. So pretty much same razor, just this is the TV special. And I believe the history on it will show you a little bit of an advertisement if I can find one. The history on it is I think it was only available uh, during sporting events that you could order it on TV, come out on a commercial or something. So anyhow, we're gonna get this shave going, guys. A little rusty with my shave videos. I haven't done them in a while. I'm starting to produce more content. Oh, this is nice. Nice feel on the face. Yeah, I really like this. Yes, that's a nice one. I just love this parazzo, um, the way it feels on your face. Nice and cool. You can hear my wife in the background thanking my daughter. Apparently they just come in from shopping. So I decided I'd give myself a haircut and a shave while they were gone. And this is about two days worth of growth. So there we have first pass. Just a great feeling on your face. I mean, just, I don't know. As, as inexpensive as Parazzo is, I, I just cannot believe the performance that you get out of it. I mean, just amazing. It never ceases to amaze me. So we're gonna do a little cross. For those of you that are wondering what I'm doing with my skin, I shave with a straight razor too. And it helps to stretch your skin too. And again, I'm no expert by no means. I, uh, I've only been at it a little over a year, November, I want to say the second to last week in November of last year. is when a former Paris Island drill instructor that was in my company, not my direct drill instructor, but one that was in the company, kind of got me hooked on the old school wet shave and haven't looked back since. And then started to get into the uh, straight razor shaving too. And that's been a pure joy as well. If you haven't shaved with a straight razor, I suggest you give it a try. I mean, it's probably one of the best shaves out there. I mean, I can shave with a straight razor and then not have to shave for days and still be smooth. All right, let's see where we are after pass two. Hmm, pretty good. No shave on that. So, hey, thumbs up to the Gillette seven o'clock in the super speed tv special i mean that's a good combination so i really did and that's the reason for my channel love your shave because i really do there's days that i really look forward to shaving i mean i really do and i'll tell you what i always keep one of these 
these things right here are the reason why I hated shaving. They used to tear my face up because, you know, you can't feel the, with all them blades there, you just keep raking it across your face and uh, it's just not good for you. At least for me, it's not. So I found what works for me and I'm still learning, still finding things that work with me. That's why I tried that uh, company, Try a Blade, and I'm going to go ahead and put their link on my video here uh, for those of you that may want to test them out and see. Uh, I think, like I said, I paid uh, 14 or 15 bucks for like 40 blades, which you can't beat that. So again, we're going to use the old Menon. I think this is probably from the, I know it had an older bottle before this, but it's from like the 70s and the 80s. I grew up, I was born in 73, so I grew up in the 70s, uh, you know, putting this on as a kid thinking, oh, that's cool, that burns. You know, as I would watch my dad, of course, all kids want to be like their fathers, if you have a good father. And uh, I'm going to splash some of this on and Feel the burn. Actually, that's hardly any burn at all. No wonder why dear old dad liked that. And, that's, uh, and it smells so good. And I picked this up for like six bucks for this old bottle. I'll put some more of that on. Mmm, man, nice, cool. No wonder why it's called Skin Bracer, because it braces your skin. And then leaves a really, really nice, woodsy, uh, manly, minty, I don't know, it's got a really nice smell to it. Uh, so, um, And you know, I found, I don't know if it's the same way with this, the Aqua Velva, it's not the same smell from the plastic uh, container as it is the glass. So uh, if you're going to look for some of this, I would definitely get it in the glass bottle. The older one. I mean, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out on purpose and just try to uh, find some of the uh, the newer because I know they sell a newer version. I think in a plastic bottle and see if it's the same. So, I also picked up. Uh, I watched uh, Ken Surfs. Great guy. Does a ton of video. Throws a ton of content out there. Value to the community. He did a shave with this um, Brute Red. It's called Brute Dominant, and uh, came in the mail today too, along with the. Um, uh, skin bracer and it smells like uh the uh the old fahrenheit i mean it's almost identical to fahrenheit cologne now when it dries down it gets a little bit of a musky smell but i mean uh it's really really uh a, a great time i'm gonna put some of this on just to try it too since we're we'll do a two for one shave here today see how this feels mm. oh yeah i definitely smell the fahrenheit in there man and for, I think it was 14 bucks. And Fahrenheit aftershave is, gosh, that's in the 50s, 60s a bottle. And you get 3.4 ounces of uh, of this for, and it comes in a nice glass bottle, so be careful. You don't want to drop it uh, for like 14 bucks. I know there's a couple people that sell them like two for for a certain price. The reason why these are so high is because uh, you can't get them anymore. So, and then there's a blue too that I'm going to try out as well, and I'll do that on another shave videos so again guys i want to thank you for watching my video and uh you know if you like what i'm putting out there um subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell so you'll get a update every time i put a new video out there uh i'm going away for the holidays but i i, I missed my one year anniversary i want to do a, a giveaway for people that are watching my video so and i'll show you i think i'm gonna do it right after the first of the year start the new year out great and uh i'm gonna give away something really really nice for those that are, are watching my uh, my channel too. So again, I want to thank you for watching the video, guys, and love your shave. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.